hello everyone welcome back again to my channel if you are new to my channel hello welcome to the club i am leanne jarrell i make beauty videos vlogs my makeup looks so cute today mommy vlogs <laughs> makeup tutorials how important i feel right now makeup reviews one thing that i love about this though it's very buildable on my channel so if you haven't subscribed yet please click that button right now so you get the latest updates on me so let's dig into what this video is about it is going to be a makeup tutorial chit chat and last but not the least it is going to be an international giveaway if you want to know how to get this look and how to win something something special for this month of october just keep on watching <laughs> Hello, 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 how do you do? I'm glad to be with you. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so of course, look at my face. It's pretty zoomed in. <laughs> no choice na kayo mga best, okay? So I'm gonna prime my eyes using my Cara Beauty Eye Primer. I received this a couple of weeks ago in the mail. And so far, Mama's been impressed. It's been good to me. It's been really, really good. It's a very sticky formula. At first, you'd be like, um, hello, what is this gonna do? Is this gonna even make my eyeshadows blend? Surprisingly, even if it's so sticky, that was not a fart, okay? That was my phone vibrating. It's colored white. I don't think this primer comes in different shades. It's very thick. Look at that. And then I like to like tap it on my fingers. I don't know. For some reason, I feel like that sets it already. This has been very, very good to my oily ass lids. So we'll see about that. I'm going to try it more. Next is, of course, we're going to grab the star of the day, which is the Huda Beauty Emerald Obsessions. And this is in the shade... Emerald. Oops. <laughs> this thing is so small, yet it's so delicious looking, but it's freaking expensive. And I'm gonna get this shade right here. I really do wish that they had some at least names on these eyeshadows. Like, if you're gonna go for that high of a price, at least put some names in there. Like, not all people are good at describing colors. Okay, so we're gonna get this green shade right here, and I'm gonna apply that all over my crease and transition color area. blending it on this part slowly it's more of a teal green you know what i mean i don't know because my primer is white but it should be showing its real colors i mean the eyeshadows are blending really well when i tell you there's not an inch of a fall off pretty amazing by the way um i just want to quickly say that I am finally gonna make a Tagalog makeup tutorial. I just don't know how am I gonna make that green dark. I feel like this right here is a transition just because it kind of turns very light on my lids. Now again, I don't know if it's that primer. If I can remember right, I swatched this. I tried practicing this on my skin and used the paint pot from MAC and it was still the same. Even the brush, it shows you that it is not deep green. It is teal green. It, I mean, we really don't have any choice other than this brown shade right here. That's the only downside about this palette as well for me. I'm just being honest. You know, mama always want to keep it 100 with you. Like there's barely any room for what you could do with this other than use the shimmers for a look that you created using another palette you know what i mean it's not like this palette is a package itself and you can go with this anywhere and you can have everything that you need i don't think so it's not even brown it's more of like a brownish olive green i mean look at that that's how it looks like. We're gonna grab that one right there and apply that on our crease. And I am just... 
creating that crease right there. Now this one has fall offs. I don't know if it's because I'm using a brush with real hair and not synthetic, but it's having fall offs. I know that's very, very harsh, but hold on tight. I might get done. And then I'm going to flick it like that to create that wing look. And then I'm going to slowly blend that in. I don't know if you can tell, but it really does look grayish. The next is I'm going to get this Real Techniques base eyeshadow brush. Then I'm going to go back to that teal green and blend the two together until our hands fall off. Next is mama's gonna cut her crease and we are gonna use something that is full of coverage. And today we are gonna use my Maybelline Master Conceal. Master Conceal. <laughs> yeah, I am in a shade light medium. Next is I'm gonna set it with this light shade right here. So we're gonna go back to the dirty green brown shade and we're gonna apply that all over our outer v-line i'm gonna grab my cara beauty es7 eye palette and i'm gonna get this shade right here then I'm going to use this teeny tiny brush from Makeup Revolution. Next is I'm going to get a black shade just because I still want that extra oomph. Any black eyeshadow would do. Be careful with applying this black shade. Next is we're gonna get this shade right here. It's almost like a foiled teal, green teal. I'm bad with colors. It's very creamy as well, this formula. And then I'm gonna top that off with this one right here. This is a foiled eyeshadow. And I'm just gonna put that on top of that shimmered one that we just applied a while ago. Then I'm just gonna blend the sides, make sure everything is blended. So I'm gonna get a makeup wipe and erase the fall offs and I'm gonna create that wing right there. Okay, so now that I've cut that, we're gonna apply our wing and I'm gonna use this NYX, that's the point, Artistry Eyeliner. Now that we got a badass wing, we're gonna get the shade right here and I'm gonna get my cute lash fan brush from Stegma. Now that our eyes is 80% done, we are gonna move on to the face. And for the first layer of priming, we are gonna use this Nivea Men Sensitive Cooling Post Shave Balm is we are gonna apply my infallible pro lock primer from l'oreal i love this if you're oily this is the primer for you so i bought a new foundation and it's the huda beauty full filter foundation this thing is freaking expensive and it smells so fancy i'm just scared in my life that my sinus sensitivity is gonna go crazy 
once I wear this. I am in the shade Macchiato 400G and I'm gonna use my Booty Blender from Morphe. This thing is full coverage. These foundations definitely makes me feel important by the way they smell. I'm loving it so far. Look at that coverage that it's giving me. I'm so surprised that I got my shade right this time. Look at that. I used to love going to Sephora, but now Sephora is just so chaotic that whenever I'm there, I just want to get out of there. That's why I like shopping for drugstore makeup more than anything. Just because at Target, there will be times where it's just so calm. There's really not much going on even if it's a grocery store where everybody goes at least in drugstore i can have peace you know so far it doesn't feel heavy it's covering the hell out of my face another thing is this tutorial is full of expensive stuff like i'm gonna use nars concealer this one right here is in the shade macadamia 1.5 So next to that is another fragrant thing from the same brand, which is Huda Beauty. And this one right here is their Easy Bake. And I am in the shade Blondie. It's very luxurious feeling, although my under eye feels very dry. But we'll see. Let's take this off. Once you blend it out, it actually isn't bad. I'm just gonna set my whole face with this. We're gonna go back to the eye. We're gonna get that teal green again and apply that all over our lower lash area. Next is we're gonna get that olive brown green and apply that on the same spot. A while ago, I told you that this particular shade is a little powdery and I thought it was because of the brush that I used, but no, it wasn't because this one I'm using a synthetic one and it is still powdery. So it's the formula itself. Next is I'm going to get this Pure Cosmetics Pro Eyelashes in the style Bombshell. I love this lashes. I actually got them on sale from Ulta. They're 21 days of sale. Then I'm going to apply a mascara and this one is from the Balm Cosmetics. It's their Scuba Water Resistant Black Mascara. I'm gonna highlight our inner eye corners using the same golden shade that we used for our brow bone area. Next is we're gonna bronze our face using this butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. Apply that all over my face. Just drench ourselves with this. Then I'm gonna contour my face using this Morphe bronzer in the shade Debutante. I feel like sooner or later, Morphe's gonna create their own foundation, concealer, since they have almost everything already. Okay, so for blush, I'm gonna use this Milani Coral Beams in the shade Color Harmony Blush Palette. I love this blush. It's so pretty. It's so perfect for a lot of skin tone and a lot of looks. I almost have some very natural sheen on my cheeks, which I think this saves money as well for those who wanna buy something basic that kinda covers a lot of needs for a natural look. And I am gonna wet my face using my De Slick by Urban Decay. Then I'm gonna get this Makeup Revolution palette, highlighter palette, and I'm gonna get this shade right here. Next is I'm gonna line my lips using this NYX lip liner in the shade Nude Truffle. Next is I'm gonna grab this Morphe liquid lipsticks in the shade Lulu.
it was that easy i told you it wasn't that bad watching me till the end so i'm gonna tell you guys the latest tea on what this giveaway is about so i have teamed up with four beautiful filipinas on this giveaway and we will be giving away not just one not just two not just three not just four but five precious stones which means we will be giving away the entire precious stones eye palette collection by huda beauty yeah. all you have to do is follow this five simple steps which begins with following me of course and these four other beautiful and amazing talented filipinas right here make sure to go and check me out and follow me there so you can go ahead and check my latest post about this giveaway and this look so after you follow each and every one of us on our ig account you will like this photo that i posted on my instagram account third tag all your besties on the comment section unlimited entries is welcome fourth make sure you are subscribed to each and every one of our youtube channel so to make that easier all of our youtube accounts are gonna be on our bios in our instagram accounts you are already here i will put of course everything on the description box down below so it will be easier for you honey and the most important thing on that fourth step is you make sure that you comment your instagram account on the comment section below so that i would know that you entered and that you followed all the instructions that we have on this giveaway so make sure that you will comment your name down below okay that's really important honey please do that last but not the least is you will share this giveaway photo on your instagram story or your ig feed and hashtag real queens giveaway winner will be announced on my instagram account so make sure you are mama's follower so that's it thank you so much again guys for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe click the thumbs up if you did like this video and comment down below what you think especially your instagram account Again, thank you guys so much for watching and mama with swatches all over her wrist and a bomb swag. We'll see you on her next video. Bye.